What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Open Channels. I am Cloud Cord, your amazing host. Okay, so last week I was doing my Friday morning beat buffet, which is a stream that I do on the Cloud Cord YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook channel. <laughs> Look up Cloud Chord Morning Beat Buffet. I do live looping, it's all improv. Here's the point though. I was doing it in Live 12, but with a push too, and I discovered something really interesting. One of the selling points, one of the many selling points, or I should at least say at the very least, it's a cool thing about the push three is that if we look over here, I am in clip view right now, right? So if I'm playing this beat, you can see it move across the clip, right? And then that view will change if I go to another clip. That's just a bird, right? How about this one? Here's a, now this is a MIDI clip. So that's clip view up top, right? And then one of the cool things that they made on the push three is session view inside the LCD screen, which is super cool because you can be in session mode or note mode here. I've been doing this, you can be firing off scenes. You can zoom out and see your session view and you can scroll between things, you know? So I could actually be in note mode and I could be scrolling down to a scene that I'm getting ready to hit and then I would switch over to session mode and boom, then I could hit another scene like this. So that is a new thing on Push 3. And here's what I discovered last week in my Twitch stream by mistake is that if you use a push two with live 12, if you hit the clip button twice, it will show you session view in the LCD screen. I don't think anybody has talked about this. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. So I'm gonna flip over to my push two here and I'm gonna show you that it does indeed happen. So. I went back with a push two on live 11, didn't work. The point is the push two on live 12, you can now see your session view. So check this out. I have the exact same session in live 12. Now I've hooked up my push two instead of my push three. Also only one push per computer works. Don't try multiples. One cancels out the other one. All the same clips in everything. All right, so now, if I play this beat here, as I did earlier, I go to clip. That's cool, right? But there isn't that button to go to see session view, but we hit clip again and boom, there it is. Look. Now I can scroll and see session view and over here, uh, the sessions or the scenes are numbered. So pretty cool discovery by mistake. Again, the moral of the story is a push two on live 12, hit clip twice. First time takes you to a clip, second time takes you to session view in the LCD screen above. I'm pretty psyched. I hope that helped somebody. That is just so clutch to be able to do things and scroll through session view at the same time. Great for performances, by the way, you can look ahead while performing. So I hope that helps. Like, subscribe, notifications on, holler at your boy. Check out my Gumroad in the link. Got lots of free racks. Got a new EP out as Cloud Cord called Daybreak. Links in the description. See you next time. Peace.